While the Cedar City Animal Adoption Shelter accepts surrendered pets as a courtesy, there is limited space available at the facility for that purpose, and staff are not always able to accept these pets. For this reason, and a recent determination by the city that the shelter was undercharging, the surrender fee has increased from $100 to $400. Shelter manager Brittany McCabe says staff will still offer advice and resources for those struggling to keep their pets or needing to rehome, but encourages southern Utahns to take a beat before taking home a furry friend. Adopting an animal should never be on impulse. Don't go into an animal shelter. You see kittens and take two home, and then you get home and what do you do? Think about it. We have no issue holding them for 24 hours if you want to go home and think about it. Um, do your research if you're looking into adopting a dog. Is that dog the kind of dog that will fit your lifestyle? Are you really active? Look for an active breed. If you're kind of a homebody, there's plenty of dogs to choose from that would be good for that kind of a lifestyle. And also, the most important one is, are you allowed to have a pet? Um, always check with your landlord, get written permission. You need something in writing, that way they can't come back and say you're not allowed to have the pet. It's hard on the animals when you have to kind of shuffle them around constantly or they go back to a shelter and back to a home. So always, always make sure you're allowed to have a pet. Additionally, McCabe said potential pet owners should let the shelter know if they have a pet wish list, as they may know of a cat or dog that's right up their alley. This is Alicia Lundgren reporting for Cedar City News, your number one source for local news.